This problem is probably one of the tougher ones you're going to encounter on the high set. It's find the cubic equation that has negative 1 and 2i as roots. So it's probably going to be really good to have quadratic equations and factoring down. Uh, you're going to want to know how to do the sum of factors when there's a positive, uh, two positive squares. And uh, you're going to want to have at least a basic idea of imaginary and complex numbers. Uh, a lot of different things packed in here, so if some of those things don't make sense, you're going to probably want to go to another site or Khan Academy and try to uh, brush up on some of those skills. Let's go ahead and try and tackle this one. On A, what can we factor out on this first part here? Well, we can factor out an x squared. So that leaves an x squared out, and then inside we'll have x minus 1. Then on this portion here, 4x minus 4, well, we can factor a 4 out. So then we have 4 and then x minus 1. And so then we can have x squared plus 4 times x minus 1. Put some parentheses on here. And then here's where it gets really tricky. Uh, but we can already tell that this one's not going to be the answer because of this right over here. Because we know that the factor uh, for one of the solutions on this is going to be the opposite of this, which is going to be a positive 1. So without doing that, uh, we already know that A cannot be the correct answer. But let's look at this x squared plus 4. If that was a negative 4, then it probably wouldn't be too big of an issue, but it's a positive 4. So we got to figure out what to do with that. To factor this, you, you know you're going to have the x plus or minus something, and then the x plus or minus something here. And you're going to want to have the x's cancel out, the x plus, so, so that you then can get this positive 4. Now, if you have a negative and negative, well, let's see what happens there. I wrote in those twos, and let's go ahead and use the FOIL method and calculate. You get x squared, doing this one, then x times negative 2, which is negative 2x, then negative 2x again, and negative 2 times negative 2 is the positive 4 you're trying to get to. But what happens here is that ends up being x squared minus 4x plus 4, and that's not what you want. We want these to be able to cancel out. But what's going to be difficult is if we had a positive, let's say we had x plus 2 and x minus 2, well, you end up with a negative 4 at the end here, and you don't want a negative 4, you want a positive. And so if we had two positives, two negatives, in the long story short, what you end up having to do is using i. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Well, if you have i times i, well, what is square root of negative 1 squared? Well, that's just negative 1. And so if we make this, if we factor out the x squared plus 4, okay, x squared plus 4, and we do it this way, go x plus 2i, which is square root of negative 1, times x plus, oh, sorry, that should be a negative. Negative, get my marker here, negative 2i Then, using this, if we did the whole FOIL method, then it would end up factoring out to x squared plus 4. So that's what you're going to need 
And this part of it would work, but we already established that it does not produce a root of negative 1. So that's why A cannot be correct. So let's go ahead and tackle B. We have x third, so the same thing over here. This is going to factor out x squared. Then you have, end up with x plus 1. And then over here, we can factor out a negative 4. So factor out a negative 4. And that leaves an x plus 1. And if you go further with this, then you have x squared minus 4 times x plus 1. And then here, x squared negative 4. Well, we can do a positive here, so that's going to be x minus 2x plus 2x plus 1. And so if we look at what we're looking for for roots, remember roots are always the opposite. This one's going to give us a negative 1, this will give us a negative 2, and this will give us a positive 2. So on this particular one, there are no i's. Let's go to the next one, C. Okay, same pattern there. x squared factored out, leaving an x plus 1. Here you can factor out, well there's not a whole lot we can factor out on this one. So we already know that this one's going to not be it. So it can't be C. Now on D, we have same pattern, x squared, x plus 1, and then here you have a 4 factored out, x plus 1, x squared, plus 4, times x plus 1. So here you know you're going to get that x plus 2i, x minus 2i x plus 1 and so what are going to be your roots for D? They will be negative 1, negative 2i, positive 2i and if we look, we have a negative 1 and we have a positive 2i. We look at our original question, find the cubic equation as negative 1 and 2i as roots. And we find that, sure enough, D is our answer.